Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this Hustle Mercenaries Yoxaron event task guide, I'm going to take a look at task number 6, Absolutely Smashed. Complete heroic current dry brew bounty with only casters in Blackrock Mountain. This can be a challenging task, because meeting any fighters can really hurt you when your entire team is casters and getting crit by those, but I have several useful comps for you. There are basically three mercs, three casters that are especially good for this one. There's Kasagus, which can summon a bunch of golems, including Todd golems, so that you don't get hit so much. Then there's Cyrella, that can reduce the attack of an incoming enemy. And then there's Captain Hook Tusk, who can change your enemy into something else, so changing a fighter to a protector, and thus <laughs> turn the tables around completely and making them vulnerable to you. All of the viable comps for this task make use of at least one of those three mercenaries. Well, first I have a Shadow comp here. Shadow is actually pretty strong for this one, because Asara, it is kind of like Malfurion. We have Vol'jin with Ring of Haste, Vol'jin really fast with all AoEs. Then we have Asara with that Saladat passive whenever you cast a Shadow ability, restore 6 health to your characters. So you can just do a whole lot with this. I'd also note that Kasakusi's abilities are all Shadow abilities, so they will all heal your mercenaries. Building some golems, using some shadow claws, it's all good. Volchin, Asara, Kasagus is your main climbing comp, but sometimes you might bring Natalie or Cyril alongside them. And Kuki is here for the appetizers. Alongside Shadow, another very consistent comp for this task is Holy with Hook Tusk. So Anduin with Harmonic Mallet, Captain Hook Tusk ready to use that cutthroat negotiations, and Natalie alternating between Anathema and Benediction means that you have a whole bunch of damage, AoE, you have a lot of healing, you can change the roles of your opponents so that they will not be favored against you. This comp just has pretty much everything. Velen, Cyrella can support as needed, and then there's Kuki for appetizers in this one as well. This task can also be completed with a fire team, because Chiji, Kedon, Antonidas, we have three fire casters available. However, Chiji, Kedon, Antonidas is not a very strong climbing party. I use Chiji, Kedon, Kasagus for the most part, sometimes bringing in Cyrella. Kasagus, Cyrella, really essential in trying to keep your mercenaries alive. However, with fire, I was not always able to keep everyone alive, but fire is pretty powerful. As long as Gedon doesn't die, you're probably able to just handle the boss, even if you lose somebody on the climb. Finally, I was also able to do this consistently with a budget comp, using Cyrella, Brukan, Kasakus as my main climbing team. So Cyrella with Blinding Luminance can reduce the attack of incoming enemies, Brukan ramps up nature damage with Lightning Bolt and then goes for Chain Lightning, and Kasakus summons Golems. Taunt Golems if needed to defend, Rush Golems if not needed, and then Shadow Claws once Golems have died to deal some damage. Kuki on the bench giving some health, and then Guff and Millhouse for some additional damage available from the bench. And this is what all of these comps look like in action. Axeflinger is still the main, main threat here. Everyone! Everyone. And then the AoEs, Shadow Search, Rebuke. And I guess we're actually doing a Taunt Golem again. Everyone. Everyone, Everyone. 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 get in here. More AoE, it's Paramount, and I guess we can do Shadow Claws. I suppose this is enough. It's like pretty much the same tree, same skill set being used, same tree turn, tree turn pattern that this comp just wins. I will still need to kill the adds first. Let's see.
actually attack both. It just said character in singular form. Attacks the low. Oh, each friendly character is standing with the lowest attack. Oh, that's gonna be Lol Jin. Yeah, it said character instead of characters, so I misinterpreted that. But fine, fine. We'll do the search, we'll do the rebuke. And then with the lowest attack. So we're going to summon some greater golems with divine shield. That seems to be the answer here. Alright, going well. What can I say? Character so opposite. Oh, enough for Shadow Claws yet. This is coming. I will just need to build more golems. Ouch. Okay, no worries. Well, that's a worry. So close to keeping Kasagus alive. Didn't quite get there. But this should be fine anyway. Right? Grim patrons. Okay, I'm not too worried. This is going perfectly fine. That's the lowest attack. That would be Wolgin now. But it's fine. I don't even need to heal. This combat actually gets this done. It wasn't even close. Of course it was Natalie, but yeah, it's not even close. Ow. Leftovers from Battlegrounds, I tell you. That's what we got. Of your ethics. I mean, it's just practical, because the purpose of this climb right now is to build guide videos. If I have super good treasures for a guide video, then... Well, at least, at the very least, people will complain that I would not have been able to do it. If it wasn't for those... If it wasn't for those meddling treasures. Job done. That's 18 plus 18, 36. Uktas is going down. That's what I need to do. Now Uktas will live, right? Because there's no one left that can create Hook Tusk. Yes, that was the key. Hook Tusk survived for now. Friendly Pirates gain 15 health. That sounds pretty good.
So this is fine, this is fine. No worries whatsoever. Just gain that 15 health again. And Natalie is working overtime here with the benediction. Alright. It wasn't that bad. Phew. Bit of penance there, bit of turning this into a protector here, and a bit of anathema there. We shiver some birds timbers. Like there, for example. And do a bit of benedictioning. Oh, they're all attacking. My hook tusk. My hook tusk is dead. On the other hand, I didn't really care for that hook task anyway. Not after not after things happened. So oh, we can just bring in Velen. Now that that's already a protector. Hooktask doesn't matter. I'm just going to pin us a bit now. I mean we're just going to take the attacks. No, that one's going to summon one, so. We can actually penance here and do a bit of splitting light there and grab a bit of anathema here. Actually fine. It's actually okay. They get some damage going, but it will not matter. Here comes the big Nova. And a bit of benedictioning. Ow, oh, that's big no one big Nova. Or is it full health again to what is there not to like? Penance, splitting light, anathema. Yep. Beautiful. So, by doing this, then I need to get to work on that one first. Okay, this is going to be tough. This is probably the most difficult one. One of the most difficult fights anyway. But I believe I have the tools to win it. Again, I need to take away the damage from the Axe Flinger. And I need to keep hitting into that one while doing the Inferno. I mean, that's 32 damage if I don't negate that, so I just can't afford that. Either I need to have Hook Tusk to turn it into a Protector, which I don't in this one. So then I need to have the Cyrella and we're going to make it. Alright. So far so good. Start blasting at this one, Inferno, and we summon the Superior Golem with Taunt. Here we go. Big Golems, handle it. Right, no worries, no worries, mate. Just going to be so much damage. Let's extend him with the lowest attack. So now we're going to summon the Divine Shield Golems. The 
there will always be targets that have the lowest attack. Not that there will be a lot of a lot of characters attacking them after all of the things that fire does. Fire speed, so I actually need to kill it with this. And attacks the characters opposite of them. Okay. Just summon some. Hmm, what do I want to even summon? Maybe I don't want to summon. Maybe it's just Shadow Claws. We can get to Shadow Clawing here. Yeah, this will be fine. Yeah, pushing in some attacks, but they are largely irrelevant at this point. Because pow, 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 pow. And I can just make rush golems so that I can get a bit of shadow claws. Although I guess there won't actually be a need for another shadow claws anyway. Eee. Many golems handle it. Fire. Alright, here comes the stomp. Grim patron being summoned. Okay, some crazy flurries going on over there. That's fine. That means summoning a superior golem with taunt this turn. Okay. Let's go, superior golem. If it was something like attack the lowest lowest health, lowest attack minion, something like that, then then I would consider some other golem. Okay, Berserkers. Each friendly character attacks the enemy with the lowest attack. So this is my cue to summon the Divine Shield Golems. Berserkers are coming in. Okay, that's totally fine. Do a bit of this. We can do a bit of that. We can summon some 8 day great Golems with Divine Shield here. And this one's just chilling. We have enough space. So... Everything's looking good. Now we have some low attack minions here that they can all attack into. At least most of them. Yeah, works well, works well. So far so good. Now I do need to worry about the blade and berserkers a little bit, I suppose. Which means luminance on that one. What is this one doing? Attacks the character opposite. Okay. I do think I want to avoid this one coming in. On the other hand, I have enough time to just get a taunt golem in front of it. That one kills that. So I will be able to just chain lightning actually. And we're just going to chain lightning here. Able to summon the Taunt Golem. This one can go in wherever. Alright, here we go. Luminance. Taunt Golem takes the big hit. That's a smaller hit. Sadly, making it immune, but I suppose we'll manage. I hope. If I lose Brukan, then that could be an issue. I don't lose Brukan just yet. Berserker, Graced Flurry, okay. We just heal up Brukan now. We could also just heal up Brukan a little bit here. Because so I would kind of want to keep it around for a little while longer. So we'll try that. I have more stuff on the bench, so it's not the end of the world even if I lose Brukan. One add is down, that's nice. Then we can do Luminance there to kill that one before it gets to do anything. 
Frag Lightning Bolt that one down. Lowest attack enemies being attacked again. So for that reason I want to summon some golems with Divine Shield again. First we take care of the biggest threat. Then we blast that one away. And yeah, now you get to attack, but the golems are there to block you again. And after that it starts to get... After that it starts to get really awkward. Start doing some shadow claws here as well. And... Alright. Looks good. Cyrella Brookan Kasakus really being the main comp here with some more potential some more potential on the bench. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel and check out my Twitch channel.